The blue whale is the largest animal to swim in the Earth's modern oceans. More than that, it is the largest creature to have ever existed. This spectacular animal is one of many species which make up the infraorder Cetacea. Surprisingly, this fully aquatic group is most closely related to even-toed ungulates like hippopotamus and cattle. While modern cetaceans have many impressive features, this video will explore a species which demonstrates an important step in their evolution. Ambulocetus was an early cetacean with an amphibious lifestyle. It lived approximately 49 million years ago during the Eocene Epoch. While nowhere near the massive size of the blue whale, Ambulocetus was a relatively large animal and is estimated to have weighed around 300 kilograms, with a body length of over 3 meters. This early whale inhabited the Indian subcontinent, which at the time had a warm climate supporting mangrove swamps and tropical forest. Ambulocetus would have occupied areas with brackish water, and shared this habitat with sharks, turtles, crocodiles, and more. At a glance, Ambulocetus looks nothing like a modern cetacean, but a closer look reveals many traits linking this species to the group. A large cavity in the lower jaw of Ambulocetus has been theorized to contain an extensive pad of fat. This fat was likely used to channel sound from the jaw to the ear, allowing this early cetacean to hear while submerged underwater. Modern-day toothed whales share this same adaptation, and many of their other features which aid in sensing sound underwater are seen here in an earlier form within the skull of Ambulocetus. The amphibious lifestyle of Ambulocetus is seen as a transitional stage in the evolution of cetaceans from terrestrial to fully aquatic creatures. In their current form, whales are notable for the extreme reduction of their limbs, particularly the hind limbs. Whereas Pachycetus, another basal cetacean known from the same region, had four fairly long and functional limbs, Ambulocetuses were considerably reduced. However, they are theorized to have retained some degree of functionality, even on land. Nonetheless, the smaller limbs of Ambulocetus are another trait linking this species to its limbless ancestors, but many of Ambulocetus' traits would not persist into later cetaceans. For example, a look at its skull reveals that Ambulocetus was heterodont, meaning it had multiple different kinds of teeth. It likely used these teeth to hold on to its large prey as it struggled. Modern toothed whales conversely are homodont with only a single type of tooth. The way in which Ambulocetus swam was also very different from modern cetaceans. It is hypothesized that this species used its large feet to propel itself through the water. The phalanges of both the fore and hind limbs are flattened to streamline them. This trait, which is also present in modern-day seals, suggests that Ambulocetus may have had webbed feet. It most likely swam in the same way as river otters, with alternating beats of its hind limbs combined with an undulation of its spine and long tail. This intriguing creature went extinct during the Middle Eocene, but represents an important transitional species in the evolution of modern cetaceans. Supported by other transitional species like Pachycetus and Bacillosaurus, Ambulocetus has been instrumental to our understanding of cetaceans and their transition from land to water.